More than a century after first-class passengers aboard the ill-fated Titanic ate grilled mutton chops and custard pudding in an elaborate dining room, the ship's last luncheon menu is expected to fetch up to £46,000 in an online auction. What makes these relics so collectible is that there's so few of them. Uh, almost everything and almost all the people went down with the ship, so anybody who was rescued could really only take what they had stuffed into their pockets. Uh, and for someone to think of having you know, a menu from their last lunch aboard the Titanic and either intentionally or coincidentally put it into their pocket and take with them uh, is unusual. So, and, and also because paper is so fragile to begin with that anything uh, of that nature is also going to be very hard to preserve for so many years. The 1st of September marked 30 years since the wreckage of the ship, which had been dubbed unsinkable, was discovered on the ocean floor by a team of researchers. The luncheon menu will be auctioned along with a letter written by one of the ship's survivors and a ticket from the Titanic's Turkish bath weighing chair, used to measure a person's weight. Uh, there have been uh, at least two or three menus from the last lunch aboard the Titanic. That's when this menu was issued. Uh, lunch for April 12th, uh, 19, uh, April, sorry, lunch for April 14th, 1912. Uh, and one of them was sold, uh, I think maybe about three years ago at an auction in England for I think something in the order of $120,000. Uh, they're very, very rare. Uh, the weighing ticket, even though it, it's very small and appears to be quite insignificant, there are also only about three or four examples of that known. Again, it's paper, it didn't survive, and, and so on. And any letter written by one passenger uh, from uh, one rescued passenger to another rescued passenger contemporaneous to the event uh, is also very, very rare. The artifacts are all associated with passengers who survived the sinking of the Titanic on the lifeboat number one, nicknamed the Money Boat. It became controversial amid accusations that wealthy passengers bribed crew members to row away from the sinking ship before the lifeboat was full. About 1,500 people died during the Titanic sinking, and third-class passengers suffered the greatest loss. The menu was saved by first-class passenger Abraham Lincoln Salomon, and is signed on the back by Isaac Gerald Fruthenthal, a passenger from New York who had likely eaten lunch with Salomon that day. Stamped with the date of April the 14th, 1912, and the White Star Line logo, the menu also included corned beef, mashed, fried and baked jacked potatoes, a buffet of fish, ham and beef, an apple meringue pastry, and a selection of eight cheeses. I, I think the typical buyer for something like this is someone who is very passionate about the Titanic and its history. Uh, in doing research for these uh, three pieces, I found that, that there are such buyers and collectors throughout the world not just the United States or in England or in Ireland as one would think, but as far as China, uh, the Mideast, uh, Australia. It is a story that grips people's imaginations regardless of where they are. The online auction will take place on the 30th of September by Invaluable.com and eBayLiveAuctions.com.